still here. Oh, baby. He's baiting it. S4, oh, S4 is baiting General away from the pit, but he might die. He might oh. actually die for this. Oh, oh. fairy fire. Oh, it's going to be worth it if they kill Roshan. Oh. It's all worth it if they kill Roshan. Alliance. Oh. It's okay if they kill Does Roshan. Does he know? If, is they, he? if they don't kill Roshan, oh, this is really no. bad. Oh, General. Can he smell it? He can't smell it. He didn't see the heroes with the ward because the ward doesn't see through the lane. Oh, my God. He's not going to notice. He's not going to see anyone in the lane. And he's going to be oh. like, what the hell's going on? And then he's going to see Roshan die, and he's going to be like, oh. <laughs> oh, shit, boys. Now, we, now we're doing it. Oh. Well, top lane, Na'Vi will look to find a second kill. So you get two kills. But Alliance got Roshan, the level one Roche. Witch Doctor Ursa, they've done it. And now I they're mean, looking for blood. General. He can TP out. He might be waiting too long, though. Oh, EGM doesn't have stun mana. If he checks, he can just TP. He might die, though. Yeah, I think he's dead. Okay, that was a misplay by General, for sure. I don't think he checked EGM's mana, because he could have easily TP'd there. Alrighty. This is, a, this is an Alliance versus Na'Vi game. That was... That was actually really good for Miss 4. Dunny might, might want to make a play here. Has Dichara around as well with the Eclipse. They'll smoke up. And let's see if they can find the opening. Dendi moving in, jumps immediately onto Ake. It's going to be a split for a Kotal kill. Can they actually get themselves anything else out of this? S4 already moving out to the north, but they've got the presence of General Sprouts up and burst down S4. Seneca with the nukes. Na'Vi get themselves two. They'll be able to transition this into a push onto the tier 1 mid. Yeah, this is what we were kind of talking about. They don't get the tower. That's actually really bad. Like, you, you want towers every single time you split. I mean, sure, they got a, a pretty high priority kill, and they, they killed the Coddle as well. But that's, honestly, that's not good enough. Oh, look at this loader. He's trying to go for the roast, but he's been spotted out and taken down by Na'Vi. That'll work. That, that's a good one. That's something that they actually needed. Like, since they didn't get the actual tower kill, and it's not even in the, the Nye range or anything like that, they don't get the, the map presence they're looking for from their first primal split. So the fact that Loda just died there kind of equalizes the fact that they didn't kill. They're all on the side of Lions, and they're all hitting a lot of creeps. So I'm, I'm a little bit concerned for Na'Vi. You know, they're looking to play this fast-paced five-man. And immediately, there's the three-man clap split, but Loda working onto the Shadow Demon disrupts himself. Now backing off, Fastal will get taken down by the Illuminate Blast. Trying to look to clean out these primal splits, but General turning up with the Sprout, holding back loaded Dichirat, dishing out the damage with the help of Seneco's nukes. They'll find the kill onto Ursa. S4 hitting the two man silence. Coming in with the ward, EGM pummeling to Denny's just not quite enough damage. Bulldog's focusing on to Dichirat, the false promise keeping him alive. Loda's brought back for this one, comes in, swipes away at Dichira. He's going to pop post false promise. And Elias looking for more. Dendi is going to attempt for the TP out. Can they kill him in time? They can't. He will escape. So it's Elias so... hitting back up, but it, they do. Let's get the map control they're looking for, and they could be in the driver's seat and just as easily, you know, Alliance can hit that critical mass when their supports have the items they need and Bulldog. Elias really want to do something here with this buyback from Loda. They'll look to Arstar, but again, he buys himself time. Disrupts himself up, will still fall on the back lines. Then he's actually jumped in, but he's been mana leaked and now out of mana in a bit of trouble. Needs backup from the team. Is he going to come in? Dendi tries to turn with the haze to stop Loda punching at him. He's making it hard, but it's not going to be hard. Too hard for Alliance. But they will still kill him. And now, two down again. They've killed that pesky, pesky Shadow Demon. So no poison. This stack steal, too, is really painful. They're going to get the stack and Roshan simultaneously. This is so bad for Na'Vi. Holy moly. This is, like, worst-case scenario. Lose tier 1, lose your ancient stack, lose Roshan in the same fight. Like, dear god, that is that is just brutal. And Na'Vi, they want to have something to say about this, but the coil from S4 coming in onto 2. Silence onto 3. S4 dropping low. He's not going to fall. The Death Lord's out. If they do end up losing S4, Dijara trying to man fight against Admiral Bulldog. He's got the backup, and now the Eclipse coming through. Dijara moving forward, looking to take down Bulldog. Finds the Bristleback kill. He will still pop, though. The damage he received during the False Promise was too much. Loader did manage to finish off Roshan on the back of that. Takes the Aegis. So again, Na'Vi coming in to try and stop it. They do take down two cores, but they already 50 seconds. 
They have a primal split from Dandy. Let's see what they can do with it. Dandy leading his way in. Comes in immediately onto Loader. Primal split, they're looking for the control. Bulldog on the front lines. Incredibly tanky. Will throw him up into the air. Dandy trying to take him out of the fight, but Loader clears out one of the primal splits. Looks towards art style. They've already lost General. The nuke damage bursting down Loader. He's lost the Aegis. The Alliance. Maybe ready to continue to try and chase for more. Loader and S4 ready to blink in, to jump forward. The orb coming through, S4 turning into the fight. Silences up Dendi, they'll bring down the Brewmaster. Another kill for Alliance. It's Na'Vi unable to do anything more apart from take the Aegis out of the hands of Loader, but they don't care. Alliance, they're not being slowed down at all here as they beat down upon the Oracle. Soneko to fall as well. It's kind of just falling apart here. For Movement round onto the map is going to be potentially a smoke on smoke action if Alliance looking for a smoke, but Dandy jumps in immediately onto ETM. The Glimmer Capes there, Bulldog pops the BKB, and immediately they start to try and clean out the primal split. Digirosh trying to get himself in. They'll be disrupted up defensively by Art Style, moving in from on the sidelines. They've caught out General. General will be the first to fall in this fight. Bulldog's chucked up in the air by Dendi, but Alliance, they're just not dying. Loader jumping forward, looking for his next target. Seneko trying to hold back EGM, but the sustain from Alliance is too much. Dicheron now comes in with the Eclipse, but it's just not killing anyone. And Admiral Bulldog takes a full amount to the face. Finally will fall. Na'Vi do take a big kill. Let's see if anyone else is going to go down, though. Alliance still playing around with it. Loader's going to be ready to jump in. He's moving in, healed up by the Illuminate. Already S4 hitting the two-man silence. There's Lotus to follow through, trying to take down Digira Artstyle with the defensive disruption, buying some time. There's the False Promise as well. Digira may be able to turn and try and fight against Loda. Loda punching in. Can they bring down the bear? They can. They do get the Loda kill. They've taken down three, but S4 still alive, playing around with the remainders of Na'Vi and cleaning up for themselves. They've got General with the Orchid. It's a big kill if they can get it. The Shadow Blade hit does it. Na'Vi are able to take a feed favorable trade, but only just. I mean, that, that was a big fight for them. They absolutely needed that fight. It's a little bit strange to me that S4 Online. So Na'Vi do have all the tools at their disposal. They're just going to fall all their court. Dendi out. He'll get the chance for the Primal Split and Ditchera with the Eclipse. BKB from Bulldog. They'll have to pummel him down with the right clicks. There's the first Demonic Purge. Looking to chase down the Bristleback. Can they do it? Yes, they can. Bulldog to fall. Moving in for more. Sending up in the air. Okay. To see if they can finish off the Coddle as well as Dendi focuses to Coddle. Loader comes in. Oh, the blast! Ake's Illuminate rips Dendi to shreds. Loader pummels into General. They'll jump in. They're looking for the Team Wipe Alliance and they're going to find it. Ditra left alone. Triple kill from Loader. That blast. Oh my god. It just did so much to Navi and healed Alliance. Like back up to full health. That item is actually. And maybe they can try at another attempt. One of the things that they're going to be looking for as well is, of course, Bulldog's BKB to, to have that duration go down. It's still at eight seconds, but we're seeing at the moment they blow a lot on it. General! Oh, the Sentry Ward is there. And he's been caught out. Alliance take the Nature's Prophet. Beautiful play. I think that well, was S4, in fact, with the Sentry. No, no someone dropped it down. Yeah, they, they had one. Top lane with General and S4 continue to play around with each other. On the high ground loader. But gets the angle, jumps it onto Wildstyle immediate turn around. Demonic Purge gonna slow down the useful list of Loda's BKB. Slow. He's still trying to close in Seneco. With the fate scenic. No, it's not gonna be enough to save Wildstyle. Now the death ward from EGM is down. Now we have to be careful. It's an Aghanim's death ward. Bulldog trying to chase down Seneco, has to false promise himself. Now Ditchera comes out with the Eclipse. One more onto Loader would do Glimmer. it, but he's Glimmer Cape healed up by EGM. He's going to be saved. Ditchera can't find the kill, and Navi, they've lost two. Ditchera's out of mana, Alliance closing in for another kill. He's got the Aegis, Ditchera, but he hasn't got a team. He's been left all alone as Alliance surround him. Ditchera, he'll try and turn and do a little bit of damage in return, but Alliance will bring down the Luna as well. Again, finding three kills. Na'Vi unable to do anything to stop it. And it's another fight where we're seeing Primal Split and Eclipse used. With the loose and Beam, Dendi standing still. So be careful of the Mana Leak. Ditra pops the cheese. He's going to be fine, but the Tier 3 certainly is. And Alliance will find it. Bulldog still hanging around. 
Demonic Purge from Arsdale, looking to contain it, but Loader jumps in, trying to rip Arsdale to shreds, uses the ultra, remove the Fate Edict, disarm, takes down Shadow Demon, and now towards Ditcherard, Dendi jumps back in, trying to slow down the advance from Elias, but the blinding light from Ake pulling Dendi into the reaches of Elias, he's going to fall, buys back immediately on the brew, Ditcherard's going to go down, it's a dieback from the Lunar, and GG is called, Elias have done it again, 2-0 this series, simply outclassing Na'Vi in both games. I really got to say, you know, they they obviously understand Na'Vi very well going into the series as these teams have played against each other a ridiculous amount of times. But S4's solutions for all the ways that Na'Vi like to play just seem to be on point. I always felt...